Now, Mike, when you originally invited me here to Mr. Heritage, it was to drive the very latest EV. And that's quite exciting, something for the future. But then... Yep, sorry, that went wrong. We had to cancel that. So then you said, oh, don't worry, Tiff, we've got a, a restored V12 sports car. Now, that sounded my sort of thing, but... Yep, yesterday we had to cancel that. But don't worry, we've done a whip around of Bister and we've got a lineup that I hope should be okay. I think we've got some forecasts. A lineup from Bister Heritage? Well, that's going to be something rather. But there's amazing cars here, aren't there? And tell me something historic, something with provenance, something with a real history to it, something exciting to drive. Yeah, I think we've done well. Let's go check them out. Okay. okay. What about this Bentley then? Perfect. Wonderful. Bad. Heritage, British Racing Green, the Bentley boys, winning Le Mans three times on the trot, four times, five times, I forget how many. Lovely, yes. It's the guys at Kingsbury Racing that own this, but we can't afford to insure it. So on to the next one. What? But, uh, my dad watched those at Come Brooklyn. On, this is nice. Okay, okay. A lot more modern, but yeah, an M3, always good. Is it manual? It's manual, E46. Someone's put roof rack on it. It is a production car, which means, again, we can't use it. So, no, on to the next one. But it's a manual. You don't get those anymore. <laughs> all right, all right then. This, yes, okay. I've no idea what it is, but it, yes. This is a Buick Riviera, which is not my cup of tea. Seven and a half oh, litre on. V8. Yes, yes, give me the keys. No, absolutely not. It's not my cup of tea. What no one will want to watch a video about that. It's not your, I thought it's, it's nice. me that's driving. Bonham's that owns that one, but no, on to the next. What about this? This is cool. No, it's not. I don't want to drive that. Look at the reg plate. Yeet. Do you even know what that means? No idea. Yeast. Oh, yeet. yeet. <laughs> You I can get know. down with the kids. It's got a bit of a contraption on it though. So yes. although it's a brand new Golf R, we're going to have to move on again. I didn't, I didn't want to drive. I want to, I want to drive the big American thing. So what else have you got then? Well, this oh, no, 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 come on. is what no, we're no, come, here no, for. No, no, what? Tell me you remember this. I remember a little bit about the car, but I remember a lot about the passenger in it. She was, um, I do remember a lot. Yeah, about enough that. about that. This is a legendary Top Gear car, a Citroen Ami 8 that James May rallied in Mallorca. Yeah, we've gone from a car that raced at Brooklands in front of my father <laughs> to something James May drove. As he brought it back, we like Hammond brought Oliver back. I mean, his tears in his eyes. Did, did, did James do the same thing with this pilot? Yeah, kind of like that. He bought it from the production and then it has been to the Bewley Motor Museum since then, but it is now owned by one of our production crew, actually, Xander, he owns it. And he's looking after it just now. How much power has he got? 32 brake horsepower from a flat twin engine out of a 2CV. Guess what the 0 to 60 is? It's three hours. 31.7 seconds. Look at his front wheel drive as well. Front wheel drive, but fully rallied out. Got the bull bar, spare tyre, rally lights, mud flaps. This is a cool piece of kit. Do you, if you hit anything with that bar, it will probably just go straight through the bonnet. Nah, come on, let's have a sit in it. We've got the May sticker on it. That's, spe that's spelt wrong. May in French is M-A-I. <laughs> and you get, those seats look comfy. Have you seen the floor? Well, no, no, I'm pretty full straight through it. That's like like a 2CV, it's essentially an agricultural vehicle. But in you get, in you it's, get. It's a lump of rust. It's a piece of history, to <laughs> it's Comfy. Uh, comfy, I've nearly disappeared to the floor. What does it smell like? Not what I can talk about on camera. <laughs> Merde in French, I think the word is. Tell me, this isn't going to be fun. <laughs> and what's this? This is the crank handle. Back in the day, you had to start it up from the crank, but we've got a starter, so we don't need this. And how many cylinders does it have? It's a flat twin over two seats. Get in. Do we really have to drive it? No, no. Before we head out on track, I'd like to thank the sponsors of today's video, ExpressVPN. It's rather annoying when you realise that the only thing stopping you from watching some of the greatest movies of all time is the country that you live in. But by using ExpressVPN, you can have access to thousands of films and series that would normally be blocked on the streaming platforms that you know and love. For example, by switching to a server in Canada, I've been able to watch arguably the greatest film of all time, The Godfather, because it's not on UK Netflix. And I'm named after Michael Corleone, so it's definitely worth the switch. And with Clarkson's Farming Show having kicked off on Amazon Prime, by using the ultra-fast ExpressVPN, you'll be able to stream it securely without data logging in HD quality with zero buffering. 
If your internet service provider has a history of slowing down streaming services, you may even experience a speed boost from ExpressVPN. That's because a VPN reroutes your connection through a VPN server so your internet provider can't see what you're doing, avoiding any throttling of your bandwidth. So ExpressVPN would sort you right out. Find out how you can get three extra months of ExpressVPN for free by visiting expressvpn.com forward slash drive tribe or clicking the link in the description below. Now, this is what happens when you put an ex Formula One driver in a car with the softest suspension I've ever seen. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, James. Sorry, James. He may be doing it. It's his idea. Right. <laughs> oh my God. Right. This is the biggest corner on the track. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. I'm trying to get second again. Watch the grass. <laughs> That's good. Oh. How long and how far did James drive this thing? Well, oh, for a, a, a good week apparently. What? A week? Watch this. A big tip here. Tip. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Well, what can you feel through the steering wheel? Nothing. <laughs> it's only got one spoke which worries me. <laughs> steering wheels should have more than one spoke. You're going to roll it, Tim. You're it going roll. to roll They're this They're unrollable. Thing. Oh, it's grass, there's grass. Oh, sorry, Mr. Moa, Mr. Moa Metal. Sorry. You're going to get showed oh, up with a good sorry. Thing. I've got new respect for James now that he took this on a rally. You are almost certainly driving this much faster than James May did. But I'm worried about these bits of wire and things. I'm worried about my lack of seatbelt. Oh, well, are you trying to get my visors coming down? <laughs> things are falling off me already. He's trying to blip the downshift there. Oh, Lovely. Take, oh, oh, oh. take the apex. <laughs> like what we're in down the street. 60 kph. Yeah. Go on. So we might get a 70 before I have to break. Yeah, go on. Oh, I've got a break for the corner! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've missed my turning point now. I've, I've nailed it now. I've nailed it. That's a good line. That, right, that, that is break. a nice oh. corner. Oh. <laughs> right, we've done the handling analysis. <laughs> but as in all good track tests, we need to do a 0 to 60. I mean, or a 0 to 100 as it's French and that's what we measure in nowadays, so we can try. I don't think we've got the space for it, but Come yeah, on. let's back Come it up. On. Get as much space as we can. Get yourself lined up. Okay. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> oh, that was wheel wheel spin. <laughs> Slick shift! I got yeah. to, oh, good shift! That's 40 kilometers an hour! We're never gonna get to 100! 50! We're not gonna get there! 60! 70! We're not gonna make we're running out of runway! Nearly 80! 80! <laughs> Come on! Red! Red! No, it's Red. <laughs> Have we crashed? <laughs> But I need a new set of underwear. Oh my god. What was the time? 29.2 seconds. Oh, pretty good, I'm impressed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I think the rear brakes locked up there, but the, but the fronts didn't run. I thought we were rolling at that point. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You can probably tell that the amount of roll this Citroen creates simply doesn't exist in the world of modern cars. Just as a comparison, here's my Focus ST long termer, and here's the Ami 8 through the same corner. It's like a sailing ship, Ferdy, for goodness sake. <laughs> Whoa! Ah! <laughs> Right then, Tiff. What did you make of that then? 
Well, I don't want to upset James. I'm sure he's got fond memories, but it's not quite me. I mean, anything with four wheels is fun. We had fun out there today, that but was awesome. I couldn't live much longer with it. How long did James drive it for? Just a few years and oh, then passed God. on to the museum. But it's a top gear legend, but I will admit it's a bit of a shed. But I've got a choice for you. Yes. You can take one of two cars home with you. Either the Citroen Ami 8. Unlikely. Or a Bugatti. Now, finally, at Vista Heritage, you come up with a proper car for me to take home. There she is. <sighs> no, Michael. I mean, yes, it's better than that. It's lovely, come on. Look, unless you give me a proper car next time, I'm not gonna come back here anymore. These promises you give me for driving nice cars, and well, this is rather nice. It's lovely. <laughs> I give him a track, I give him a this car, and he gorgeous. always complains. That's worth about 25 times what that is. Lovely. Cheerio, Michael. Bye, Tiff. Whoa! Of course he rags it. Watch Total yourself, pit. be careful. 